mildly. You would expect a little bit more. You can, in fact, get reposts on him. Okay. I mean, I believe that. It just seemed like the, uh, the timing on that was a little stricter than... Say, on these fuckers. Like, I think his weapon just sort of lends itself to not... To not getting reposted. Why do I keep getting fucking bloodstones? I thought those were rare. They're like upgrade, like super upgrade materials. And these guys are just dropping them like candy. Yeah, fuck it, just drop down here. Alright, that was smart. Not smart enough, but, you know, it was, it was an intelligent move for him to try to dodge me. Hey, fire off rounds. Alright. Are you coming? Are you... Please? There we go. I love that they do the running slash and it misses every time. Go, kill the birds. Don't get ambushed this time. right out of range. I do like that this game brings the coolness of like... Like it did like... The, one of the coolest things in like Dark Souls is whenever you get like a really good roll and you just nearly get nicked. Like... But you're just outside of the range. This game seems to play on that a lot more. Which I like, because that was always super fun when you were like, oh, I'm about to get hit, oh, but I rolled, and I just nearly got hit. Like, it just looks so much cooler when it's a like a near-glancing blow. And I feel like this game and its dodging system sort of lends itself to that. Whereas Dark 2, because you were getting hit if you were so much as within range of being attacked... That like it didn't, it did not matter. So I kind of like that this game is a little bit more. Seems to focus a little bit more on on that closeness. Yeah, the hitboxes are much sharper. Yeah, you can you can feel it. There's not that I shouldn't have gotten hit by that. It's always like all right, I got hit or I didn't. Like, there's no questioning it. Okay, so let's grab our souls and retreat. Or should we make another run? Let's try one more time. Timing, I had it. Oh god, and then I got hit. Oh god, I'm not dead. Oh, I got the repost. Oh, rip your chest out. Oh my god, that did like nothing, damn. Stamina. What the fuck was that? Oh, you 
God, he fucking stun locked me with the blunderbuss and then just bomb oh, right in my chest. Jesus. Even the repost did like nothing to him. It was like a hundred damage. He didn't even give a shit. Yeah, I'm gonna have to put in some serious either like points or like something like I just don't do enough damage to him to really take him on. Hmm, excuse me. I feel like this is a big difficulty ramp up. But it might also just be that like tired and I don't have bullets because I was doing much better when I was like able to hit him and I got him down to like half health almost three quarters maybe 66 percent god that was so, oh just the movement feels so good it feels so good did I go up here I had to have gone up here Might as well take the 10 seconds to check. Yeah, okay, I came up here. I was gonna say, there's no way I just left this area unchecked. Alright, well, let's try and lure some fools. Perfectly weave in and out of hitboxes. Like it's, it's almost punch out levels of timing. Where it's just like I'm in and I'm out. I'm in, out, I'm out. Where am I in or I'm out? Oh, I'm out. Like it's so well done. This is like super return to form. Boop. Boop. Oh. oh, that's so good. Okay. From Salt A team was doing while the rest of them were digging around with blood. I believe you mean with Dark Souls 2. <laughs> Which honestly, Dark Souls 2, like, it's just. Like, I know that game gets a lot of shit, and I know I even gave it a little bit of shit. But it really. It's not a bad game, it's just a little wonky and different from, you know, others. Which isn't, like, the worst thing in the world. Like, honestly, it, Souls 2 is significantly slower. Like, the game, the fastest one is this one, I think. Demons is a close second. You just weren't, you just didn't have this kind of mobility in Demons. And then Souls 1 and Souls 2. It's like, Jesus, I can't be like formulating in terms of thoughts and doing this. Like, the reason why Souls 2 gets so much shit, I think, is partially because of 
its speed, which is just slower. Oh my god, why am I getting wrecked by these guys all of a sudden? I really got poisoned. Yeah, you yeah, you can definitely tell the Dark Souls 1 DLC was made long before Dark 2. And I think there were some other design issues with Dark 2 as well. But I, I think that it is a better game than a lot of people kind of make it out to be. Like, it's still a solid fucking game. Alright, so I'm gonna grab my souls and I'm gonna get the fuck out. Two story is a little poopy. I'm not gonna lie. But it's also it's but it's not like people really shit on two. And I really don't think it deserves oh fuck, my souls are like in the worst place. Ow. Bye. He's not coming, is he? Okay, good. Go. First, we awaken. Yeah, I really do think that a lot of the hate for Dark 2 was, was unwarranted. It really wasn't as bad as a lot of people made it out to be. It, it really is a solid game. It just... It could use a little bit less wink wink nudge nudge this is a Dark Souls game. But there there's certainly nothing wrong with what they did. And I, I do think that maybe putting agility as a stat for like iframes on rolls... I don't necessarily agree with that, as in the sense of how tied in it was with like several stats. I don't think that was necessarily a great idea, and I also don't like the fact that lightning got nerfed and then never got buffed again when it became totally useless. Uh, so I don't agree with that choice either. But honestly, you can do a lot worse. If it had come out before Dark Souls One. Everybody would have been like, yeah, it's a really great game. It's a fucking Souls game. Look at how hyped this is. It's so cool. I, I, but I, I really do think that it's a fucking, like, solid game. Welcome. It just wasn't good enough is, is a little bit true. It needed, it needed, like, one or two things to kind of push it over that edge. Uh, I'm not actually going to level up yet. Let's go see if I can level up my weapon first. It stands alone better than as a sequel. That is exactly, that is exactly it, Kevin. Okay, you are completely correct in that statement. So I could upgrade the saw cleaver, actually fairly significantly. And I think that means, I think what that says is that it gets two blood gem slots, yeah. Yeah, so I'll pay for that. That seems worth it. Twin bloodstone shards? That's weird. Okay. HP continues to recover. Can I remove these once I fuse them in? Because I don't want to put this in and then, like, be stuck with it forever. Because clearly there are ones that are are better than others. Yes, you can swap them.